Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we're going to talk about game engine popularity. Before we get into a lot of detail here, first I want you to see this picture right here. What you're seeing here is an extreme close-up of salt. And what I want you to do is focus on an individual grain, like this one right here, or perhaps this one over here. And that's how much stock I want you to put into this video. I am not saying that X engine is better than Y engine. What I'm going to do is talk about the popularity of game engines relative to other engines in one very specific instance. And that's that is Global Game Jam. So Global Game Jam just happened. Uh, this was literally about a week ago, and a conversation around it came based on uh, more or less the popularity of engines used to create games. And I thought it would make for an interesting video. I'm actually 100% ripping this off from a Twitter conversation that we will get back to in just a moment, because there is someone out there who has done a breakdown of the popularity of 2023 versus 2024. And we'll get back to that. But first, what we're going to do is jump here into the games category. Now, what you're going to notice here is they actually break down by the tools and technologies used to create games for the game jam. If you don't know, Global Game Jam is one of the biggest game jams out there. I don't actually cover game jams on this channel because there's just frankly so many of them. Uh, and there are other sites and services for like where game jams are. I'm curious to you though, would you like to see game jam, you know, uh, that are they're coming, news kind of coverage of them uh, on the channel? I think right now I'm leaning towards no, but if you'd really like to see me cover game jams, do let me know. But the interesting thing here is they break it down by uh, platforms, countries, and most importantly, tools and technology. So what we can do here is see what actual technology was used to create games entered into the system. Now, it's interesting, though, uh, the entirely missing section is uh, HTML games. And, and I got to imagine a lot of games were made using this. There's a couple here like Enchant JS, but there's no... Um, phaser as an example uh, so I have a feeling that that is just a mixed area here but you see here you got a ton of different uh, game engines and what we can do is take a look at them so for example click team fusion I wonder if there's actually any because that's a game engine that hasn't been updated in a while all right so here you go actually there's quite a few game engines being used making it so click team fusion was used to create so we got four eight uh, 16, so 19 games uh, overall. So that's actually pretty impressive. So 19 of the games were created using that game engine. If you're wondering how many games were created overall, well, let's do that. So what we're going to do here, there's 50 per page. And if you go to the bottom here, you can see there are 198-ish. So 198 times 50. So we have just shy of 10,000 entries into this uh, game engine. So uh, what was it, 18 or 19 of those were created using Click Team Fusion. So you get an idea of the actual percentages. I've got a couple of other ones here. Let's see what Cocos does. So I'm going to run through and just basically look at some of the most popular ones out there. So Cocos was used to create four Cocos 2D. I don't know which version of Cocos that is. There's Cocos there's Cocos 2D JS, there's Cocos uh, 2D X, which is the C++ version, etc. cetera. Uh, now let's go on down here. So CryEngine is going to be literally zero. You just would not game engine. Some... Wow, someone created a game using CryEngine. That's uh that's an interesting choice. So here, let's go ahead. We'll check out Game Maker. So Game Maker was used by uh, let's see, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty-two. Actually, we're doing pretty good here. Are we multiple pages? No, just oh yeah, with three pages of it. So anywhere between one hundred and one hundred and fifty games were created using Game Maker. And it looks like close to the 150 mark, which is pretty impressive. So 150 games were created using the Game Maker. Now, the one you're probably wondering about are the big three: Unity, Unreal, and Godot. And Unity is probably the most interesting one because Unity had uh, a year. Uh, they had a very interesting year. We had a lot of people like trying out different technologies as they moved away from Unity. So we're going to see how many games were ultimately created using the Unity game engine. I think what you're going to find here is Unity is definitely still the most popular game engine. So as we see here, 72 pages. Yeah, so... Um I should be able to do 72 times 50 in my head, but 3,600 games out of uh, about 10,000. So 36% of games in this were created using the Unity game engine, which is quite impressive. Let's go check out Unreal Engine and see how it is doing in this regard. And now do keep in mind, again, grain of salt. So this is a demographic of people. So the, the thing about game jams, you're on a very tight time schedule. Uh, so certain tools are definitely going to be more inclined to it. Although often what you're going to do is just use what you're most comfortable with. So uh, 16 pages worth there. Uh, I don't have a calculator up anymore. So let's do that. So 16 times 50 is we got 800. So about 8% of the games were created using Unreal. And let's go ahead and check out the Godot game engine. So over here, we got Godot. And Godot was used to create 
19. All right, so 19 times 50 is almost 10%. Uh, that, that's actually a pretty impressive growth over the previous year. So Godot is definitely uh, getting more and more popular. We got a number of other ones here. We got a couple that I think are like underrepresented because I think Default would be a great engine uh, for doing game gem entries. Uh, it's just a rapid tool and we only have four in that regard. Another one that is interesting is Construct. Uh, so let's see how Construct rolls out here. And Construct is eh, not bad, actually. We've got... Uh, we got two pages. How much into the second page there? Um, pretty full. All right, so we got about 100 games. So it looks like about 1% of titles were created using Construct. And that's kind of it. So we got a couple of other entries on here. So you got things like Hacks. You got Houdini, which makes literally no sense at all. Uh, LibGDX is sticking around as well. So I think some of these are based off of Legacy from in the past. So only a handful were done using Hacks as an example. So yeah, that is the breakdown of game engines used to create Global Game Jam. Now this is uh, actually coming from... Uh, Remy, uh, who is one of the major contributors and the community lead on the Godot team. So obviously you're going to get a Godot bent, but he's actually broken down the usage of stats from the last year to the previous year. And you can see here a breakdown of the number of games. So basically what we were just looking at and what was used to create which. So you still see here, Unity is a big chunk of the games here. Unreal Engine, which I would think would be a terrible tool for a global game jam, uh, is it's still pretty solid here. Here you've got Godot. So Godot has passed Unreal Engine in size. Uh, and then we have still have the unknown factor. And that may be where some of the HTML games are hiding for us. So you got the breakdown, the numbers, the percentage there. Uh, now the cool thing here is we actually have the 2023 numbers. So in 2023, Unity was used to create 61% of titles. Now Unity is being used to create 36. That's a, that's a pretty big drop off, to be honest. And then you see Godot went from 6.5% up to 9.18%, uh, and Unreal went 768 to uh, 9.38. So definitely have some moves in that regard. Again, this is uh, one of those things that uh, we'll, we'll go back to, to this picture here. I take it all with a giant grain of salt. I thought it was interesting because the data is out there and it gives you an, an insight into what game engines people are choosing, what game engines are popular. But again, this is in a very, very specific task. So a global game jam, this is a very short period of time that you've got to develop these games. So this does give you an idea at least of the tools people are choosing in those environments. But when you've only got a couple of days to create a game, it's a massively different demographic than if you're trying to develop a game to commercially ship it. So again, giant grain of salt, but I did find the numbers and the breakdowns interesting. And uh, thanks to Remy for actually uh, running the numbers and comparing them to the previous years. Uh, it does make for some interesting viewing. So let me know what you think. I, I think that probably the, the big news here is the, uh, the change in, for Unity. So Unity's numbers really, really changed. Like they were dominating before. So they went from uh, how many games created? So 4,669 games using Unity to 3,549 the next year. And keep in mind, there's actually 20, 25% less games being developed between the years, which is another interesting thing. So we actually have like 20, 25% more games were actually submitted to this game jam this year, which is interesting in itself. Uh, but yeah, Unity's overall percentage of the pie is really, really dropped. Uh, which goes, Godot has gone up a decent amount, but not outrageously, and they've bumped Unreal Engine. But again, I don't really understand why anyone would ever use Unreal Engine for a game that you have to develop in a couple of days. But let me know uh, what you think of the popularity of various different game engines and the changes that we've seen here. And if you are in game jams, what technology are you using? Let me know. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.